Hi guys and welcome back. I thought we'll be doing some resisted work today. So you will need a band and then a weight. Uh, using the weight if you want to use it, leaving it out if you feel that it's too much. Um, just working at your own level, at your own pace. So join me down onto the mat. I'm going to bend the knees, walk the feet and the knees nice and close together. Let the arms open up nice and wide, turning the palms to face up and towards the ceiling. We're going to start off with a nice easy hip rolls. So rolling the hips over to one side. Let's see if you can picture that nice spiraling movement, that rotational movement from one to the other side. Notice if the legs tend to drift away from each other, if they drift away from each other, then I'm kind of like flopping the legs, but I'm losing most of the rotation. See if I can aim for the knees to stay together, to move together, so really trying to bring the hips as far around as the back will allow me to. The shoulders are staying on the mat, so I feel comfortable here, I'm just going to stay here. If I feel that I can progress with the movement, then I'm going to do the same but I'm going to add the weight. So I'm just going to put the weight between the knees, between the inner thighs, and then squeezing into the weight, making sure that it doesn't drop. I'm going to take the legs from one back to the center and over to the other side. See if you can focus, especially on the coming back from the rotation. So as I bring the legs back to the center, Think of spiraling from the center, so see if I can really get that tension through the obliques so to get the movement going. And then if I'm still happy here and I feel that I can get up a level further, then I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to lift the feet off the ground. So I'm going to load a little bit more. So I'm going to curl the knees up a little bit closer to the chest, and then I'm going to take the legs to the side. No matter how close I get to the floor, I don't want the legs to touch the floor. I'm going to ease them back to the center and then I'm going to try the same thing to the other side. And then back to the center. See if you can think of a slow controlled movement. So a faster movement is going to use momentum, it's going to make me lose that, that activation, that connection, that tension that I'm trying to find. So see if you can find the speed that challenges you. Slowing down as I rotate out and then slowing down as I come back in. We're going to try six more of this. So rotating one way, shoulders are down, the neck nice and relaxed. Maybe see if you can encourage the head to turn and look away. Making sure that the neck stays loose and the shoulders keep on the mat. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And releasing back, we're dropping the feet down. Pushing the weight to one side, relaxing through the legs and releasing through the hips. It's a little bit more connection there. I'm going to try and see if I can change the direction of the movement slightly. So this time I'm going to bend the knees and curl the knees right up into the chest. I'm rocking the legs forward and back a few times as to see if I can get into that rounded shape. Same as usual. If I struggle to get the legs, to get the posterior tilt, that imprint into the ground, I can use something to wedge my hips in that position. So I can put my hands under the hips. I can put a block or a pillow there to try and give me that rounded shape. And then from here, I'm just going to start working through both legs. I'm going to take a deep breath in and then as I breathe out, I'm going to push them up and towards the ceiling and then I'm going to bring them down. So I'm going to reach and then I'm going to pull back. Reach and then pull back. Let's see if I can aim for straight up directly above the hips. It doesn't matter if the legs don't extend completely, that depends on the hamstring flexibility. If my hamstrings are tight, even though I'm in a posterior tilt, it might, they might pull too hard, so I might not be able to extend the legs. So I feel comfortable here again, I'm just going to stay here. If I feel that I can progress at the movement, 
Guess what? We're going to add a little extra weight. So I'm going to grab a hold of my weight and then this time I'm going to try and tuck it between the feet, between the shoes, between the ankles. I'm going to extend and then I'm going to come back. Extend and come back. So a strong tension pushing the legs together, so making sure that the weight doesn't drop and a strong tension to help me control the up and down movement at the same time. If I feel that the movement still feels easy, still feels relaxed, I feel that I can progress the further, then I'm going to start sending the legs out at an angle. Don't aim too low. See if you can start off quite high, but making sure that as the legs extend, the belly is still tight, the lower back is still imprinted on the mat. So I'm not lifting, I'm not arching, the belly is not popping up. And then I'm going to pull back. So I'm going to try and find the angle that I can control best. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. And hold the last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And releasing down. Easing the weight back down onto the mat, extending the legs away, allowing the hips to open the front of the belly to relax. And then I'm going to work in reverse. I still want to work through the center. I still want to get hips and legs involved, but I'm going to try and get a little bit more activation into the glutes instead of through the front of the hip. So reaching forward into the arms, tilting the chin to the chest, lifting the head, lifting the shoulders, and then strong through the centre. I'm going to roll my way back up to the top, using the arms to help if you need to, rolling onto the side and pushing if you know that you can't. As you get to the top, I'm going to turn around and then set myself up on all fours. Same as usual, any issue with the knee, maybe with the shoulder or the wrist, I can't stay on all fours. I can work on my forearms or I'm just going to come down into a full uh, um, prone position. So I'm just going to squeeze with the back of the bum and come up into extension from here. If I can stay on all fours, I'm going to set myself up on all fours, so locking the shoulder blades against the back of the ribcage, try not to round, so you can just lengthen and lift. And then maintaining that active, I'm going to connect it through the centre and then I'm just going to start extending away one leg, so I'm just going to get into a little swimming leg and then come back. Please, 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 I try to avoid that kind of like swing movement that is not doing anything to your bum, it's just loading your back. I want a stronger glute activation and a strong abdominal activation. So I don't want the back to arch, I don't want the belly to drop and sag. So I'm just going to try and squeeze with the back of the bum, lift from the belly and then I'm just going to ease back. Then squeeze from the back of the bum, lift from the belly and then moving the other leg. And then progressively see if you can get more control. So. Can I hold the body perfectly still while the leg is moving? Does it feel as if I'm shifting side to side? Does it feel as if I'm rotating up and down? Can I try and hold the hips and the shoulders steady? As if somebody was looking at my back from above, not, not being able to see my legs, I wouldn't want that person to be able to tell which leg I am moving as a matter of fact that I am moving a leg. So see if I can try and hold that centered position. I'm not drifting to the left, I'm not shifting to the right. The hips are holding the same level. The back is still keeping neutral, the belly nice and lifted as the leg extends away. And then I'm happy here, I feel comfortable here. I don't need to do anything, I'm going to stay here. If I feel that I can progress, then I'm going to add the band this time. I'm going to place the band around the right foot, nice and flat against the foot. And then I'm going to hold the two ends of the band 
underneath the right arm. So I'm just going to push down and then I'm just going to repeat a 10 on the right side. So I'm just going to push against the band and then I'm going to slowly come back. So again, see if you can find the speed that challenges you, making sure that the band is not pulling my leg back in place. I'm controlling it back. The belly working a little bit harder to help me stabilize. Again, am I shifting to the left? Am I shifting to the right? Am I moving forward? Am I moving back? Can I hold the body perfectly still? Four. Five. Six. Seven. Head is still in line with the shoulders. Eight. Nine. Last one, I'm going to hold it back. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Easing back. Easing the tension of the band. I'm just going to push back into child, push back into shell, unloading the wrist, having a little rest for the shoulders, for the hips, for the belly, for the um, body. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing on the left side. So if I'm using the band, I'm going to place the band around the left foot. If I'm not using the band, I'm just going to try and repeat 10 times on that left leg. So exactly the same controls, making sure that the band is safely tucked under the left foot just so that it's not going to roll, it's not going to come off. I'm going to place the hand on top of the two ends of the band, connecting through the shoulders, stabilizing it into the shoulders into the center and then taking a deep breath in as I breathe out I'm going to start pushing away with that left leg and then easing back same as on the other side so see if I can be aware of the stronger connection down the left side preventing my left shoulder from moving forward and back preventing the middle of the body from kind of like a crushing and collap collapsing in itself three Last one, we're going to extend and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release and back. Easing the tension of the band, pushing the band to one side. Taking yourself back into shell, into child. Releasing the tension from the back of the hips, stretching down the lower back into the arms, unloading the wrist. And then we're going to finish off by going back onto the side um, of the body and the side of the hips. I'm going to uncurl all the way back, taking the legs around to the side, bring them to the front. I'm going to grab hold of the band and then with the legs together, I'm going to tie the band around the knees, the same as usual tight but not digging into the leg and then using a little knot or a little bow to hold it in place so the band doesn't come undone <laughs> i'm going to roll over onto the side and then i'm going to also set the weight down in front of me if i want to use it as there if i don't want to use it i'll leave it there I'm going to lower myself down, resting the head on onto the arm or onto the cushion, onto a block, if you rather. Setting the legs into 
a standard climb position so the heels of the feet are roughly in line with the back of your hips or with the back of the bum connecting through the front to try to lift it from the side making sure that the ribcage is not rolling forward so i'm not collapsed to begin with so see if you can think of pushing the ribs into the back of the ribcage finding a little tension at the top of the belly too and then maintaining that center connected i'm going to keep the heels of the feet together and then i'm going to start opening up into clump now the band is going to prevent the leg from going too far from the hips are to start wandering think of maintaining the bottom leg into the floor as the top leg is lifting and then i'm going to ease back so feeling the band tensing down the side into the side of the hip into the side of the bum the back is relaxed i'm not gripping with the back i'm not tensing through the shoulders and then if i feel that the movement feels quite easy feels quite relaxed i'm going to add the arm I'm going to grab a hold of the weight as the leg opens i'm going to raise the arm up and towards the ceiling as the leg closes i'm going to bring it down by the side as the leg opens i'm going to raise the arm as it closes i'm going to lower three four five six seven eight nine last one we hold holding the legs i think of a little circle with the arm one two three four five reverse it one two three four five and releasing down giving the hip a little tap relaxing the hip releasing the leg same thing to the other side so rolling to face the other side of the room or pushing yourself up, swinging the legs down the other end of the mat to set in the same position on the other side, heels of the feet in line with the back of the hips so the head is supported. Connecting through the center, making sure that I'm not slouching, I'm not collapsing, I'm active at the front, pressing the heels of the feet together and then I'm just going to start opening and closing into clump. So the bottom leg pressing into the ground, the top leg is opening and closing back so noticing how different this side feels notice the legs you might find that the bottom leg tends to lift off the ground so you're not using the side of the bum you're trying to roll the hips to the back as if you can think of the hips holding still the leg moving into the hip socket and then once that you feel that you've got little control see if you can add the arm so with or without the weight as the leg opens i'm going to raise the arm up to the ceiling as the leg closes, I'm going to bring it down. As it opens, I'm going to lift. Two. As it closes, I'm going to lower. Three. Four. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Hold the leg. Little circle with the arm. One, two, three. Hips nice and still. Four. Five, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, and releasing down. I'm doing the band, pushing the band out of the way. Oops. 
out of the way and to one side, rolling on to the back, reaching forward into the arms, tilting the chin to the chest, lifting the head, lifting the shoulders, strong through the center, all the way back up to the top. I hope you've enjoyed the little workout. Same as usual, any question, comments, feedback, please do get in touch. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as you can, as quickly as I can. And remember, we've launched the dates for the new Sardinian retreats. We've got some Pilates, so some yoga, and some Pilates and yoga fusion. So if you're interested, have a look at the link um, onto the uh, below the video. And I hope I'll see you all in Sardinia at some point. Bye for now.